What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today, it is officially one week until we get our Golden Retriever puppy, Odin. This is what he looks like now. I cannot wait to get him. I wanted to go through some essential must-have items that you need before you get your puppy, just so that you're totally prepared for everything or just stuff that will make certain things easier. So I'll go through each of those. I'll link everything in the description if you guys want something and feel free to ask me anything in the comments. And before we get started, I hope you guys like this video at the end and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't already, you can follow me on my Instagram. And with that, let's get started. First, I'm obviously sitting on my floor in my bedroom. So behind me is the crate that we got him. This one has a door in the front up here and then a door on the side here. It also came with a divider. So when a puppy is a baby, you kind of, especially for bigger dogs, you want to block off part of the crate just so that they don't have too much room to like go to the bathroom and have an accident in one area and then track it somewhere else in the whole crate. So you kind of want to make it a small space so that they'll more likely hold it in until you can let them out. I found this one from Walmart. Most of them were retailing like over a hundred dollars and I got this for I think around like 80, which it's totally fine. It's gonna be the perfect size. It does exactly what we need it to do. And it was the best price that I could find. Still on the topic of the crate, inside the crate, we have this like tie dye plush blanket. It's really soft. I found it at TJ Maxx or Home Goods for about, I think $15. And it's big enough to cover up the whole bottom of the crate once he's bigger and we could just take out the divider. So that's all the crate stuff. Now, this is probably the most important essential thing that you're gonna wanna get before you get your puppy, a snuggle puppy. So basically we heard from a lot of friends that this pretty much made it so that their puppy would sleep through the night and not cry until they would wake up to let the puppy out around like five, 6 a.m., which that's kind of amazing. You put batteries in this little heart and you put it in the stuffed animal. It pretty much like simulates a heartbeat and a companion for the puppy so it's comforted. I think we should open it up. Let me get some scissors. Very cute. They have a lot of different um, colors and everything of these little snuggle puppies. I got this one just because Odin is gonna be like a pretty red golden retriever, so I wanted it to kind of look like him, so I went with this super red <laughs> one. Um, so hopefully he loves it, I think he will. Moving on to just some like random toys that I've found. FYI, in no way am I a dog trainer, a dog expert. I'm going off of my experience of growing up with four different Shelties, and then I also have a Pomeranian. I got him at eight weeks old and I trained him. Um, so I'm going off of personal experience and doing my own research. So I just wanna like share my tips with you guys. This toy I got from TJ Maxx. I think it was like $3.99. And what's great about it is it has the two rubber rings so you can play tug of war with your puppy. And then also it has like this ropey one with a little rubber piece on it. So there's different textures on it that they can chew on. And I just think it's a good like tug of war playtime toy as well as just like a chewing toy. TJ Maxx also had this tire and it said that it was vanilla scented. So it kind of smells like an air freshener for your car, which I guess is kind of fitting because it's a tire, uh, but it's also just like the rubber that they can chew on on the side and also this little part in the middle. And I think this is also just another really good toy just like as a chew toy. This is actually really old. Uh, I'm not sure if Vineyard Vines makes these anymore, but a long time ago, I got Thor this whale plush stuffed animal for Vineyard Vines. I don't even think it's really a dog toy because there's no squeaker in it. I think it's honestly just like for kids to get and have a stuffed animal, but I don't know yet what kind of toys Odin likes. 
So I wanted to get like different types of textures for him to chew on and play with. And like this snuggle puppy is more just for him to cuddle with at night. So it's not gonna be something I really want him to be chewing on. I mean, if he really wants to, but I don't think he will. Um, so I wanted to get him another toy that's like plush so that he can, I can see if he likes a plush toy or one of these rubbery toys, just so that you'll know like what preference your dog has when they get older. So also, it hasn't come in the mail yet, but, so this is Thor's collar, the dog tag that he has. So it's his name and this cute little thunderbolt on one side, microchipped, and then it's our address on the other side. I got it off Etsy. It came pretty quick and it's great quality and it's really nice. So I'm getting Odin the same one. Um, obviously it'll say his name instead. So once it finally is warming up, I'm sure I'm gonna be outside a lot with Odin. So it's good to get one of these collapsible water bowls. Uh, this one comes with like a little hook on it. This is actually also old vineyard vines, but they have these in like everything. I can link like similar ones below. It's just good to bring with you on like a longer walk, or if you're just hanging out outside, then you can just plop this outside, throw some water in it, the dog's ready. Um, but yeah, definitely a handy thing to have. And then poop bags. You're gonna need a lot of poop bags, especially if you live in an apartment or a city or townhouse, stuff like that to clean up. Um, we just think it's easy to use these for not just walks, but also pick it up in the yard, put it in the garbage. So TJ Maxx actually has the cheapest ones that I have found. Um, this pack, it comes with 160 eco-friendly disposable bags for $3.99. So I showed this in my spring decorating video, but I just wanted to touch on it again if you guys haven't seen that video. Um, this dog leash. So I am obsessed. I got this for Thor and then I had to go back and get another one for Odin because it's so comfortable to hold this handle and it's just so sturdy and strong, especially for a larger dog, you're gonna want a good leash. And this rope leash is great. So it is 60 inches and it says that it can tolerate up to 440 pounds. Obviously Odin is only gonna be like 75, I think. We're not really sure, but he looks like a big boy. So I got this from TJ Maxx for $7.99. Highly recommend, highly, highly recommend this kind of leash. And then of course, you need some bowls. You need a water bowl, you need a food bowl. Um, Thor already had two of these. I got these from Petco. They were super cheap. Um, this is the size medium. I got two mediums, both one for each of them to have their food in. And then I got the large for water so they can share the water bowl. And the water bowl is huge. It's like, I don't know, much bigger than this. But I think this was $3.99 for the medium maybe. And then the water bowl was $4.99. And with that, oh, the floor is here. I hope you liked this video and you subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time.